I'm Dr. Tara, and this is Hopeful Hints, a podcast where you'll receive quick, hopeful hints on all things women's health and infertility. Here, you will find education, inspiration, and most importantly, find peace and empowerment as you walk through the next steps in your healthcare journey. Welcome to Hopeful Hands. I'm your host, Dr. Tara, and today we're talking about testosterone and DHEA, specifically for those experiencing a time of perimenopause and menopause. This can be challenging for some, but I truly feel if we start having an open conversation on hormones and appropriate hormone replacement therapy and balancing and how we can take these things all into consideration, we can move through these times in our life so much easier. So, You might be saying, Tara, this is a male hormone. What is going on? Why are we talking about it? So women have testosterone and DHEA, which, yes, are male-dominating hormones, but we do have them flowing through us as well. And if they are disrupted too high, too low, we will be impacted by that. And there's so there's this proper Goldilocks term I like to use where our hormones have to be not too hot, not too cold. And they fluctuate on a day-to-day, hour-by-hour basis. And so, yes, it is going to be fluctuating through us, but there's things we can do to balance and replace them at times in our life when they are not optimal. Let's begin by understanding the role of testosterone. So this is, again, produced by our ovaries and our adrenal glands. And it is something we need to be taking serious in our perimenopause and menopause times because libido, let's just start with libido. It's, it's crucial when this is out of, out of balance that we take this more serious. So healthcare providers, please stop telling our patients to read smut bugs and start playing psychologists during their exam, asking about how their relationship with their partner or spouse is when they have a hormone imbalance going on. So that our levels decline. And that greatly impacts her libido. So this reduction in itself can lead to decreased interest. Um, hardy, hard, harder for us to have that desire. And what does that do? That causes a strain on relationships and quality of life with our partners. So we've got to bring in treatment for this and replace that and help restore that sexual drive and desire. And I love doing that with our compound pharmacies. They are so knowledgeable on this. And there's formulas we can make specific to your levels. It's, it's amazing what I've seen happen by replacing um, this hormone. Muscle mass. So, of course, we know testosterone is vital for muscle health. And this is where we just get rid of this myth right off the bat. You're not going to bulk up and become male looking by giving you a little bit of hormone replacement of testosterone or DHEA. What it does is it helps promote muscle protein synthesis. It helps maintain muscle mass and strength. So as these levels decrease with age, women might experience a decline in just mass, strength, even if you are doing strength training exercises. And so that can really impact your physical functions as well. And as we age, you're actually at risk for falls. So we need to maintain our muscle strength and and make sure that when we are doing the proper uh, movement for that, that we're actually going to be um, engaging in resistance training and conditioning that we have the appropriate level of hormone in place as well to help us. Um, again, don't worry, not going to bulk up from replacement from this. Energy levels. Ooh, women, our energy can be greatly impacted if these levels are too low or too high. If they are not at that proper level, we have deficiencies. It can lead to fatigue and sluggishness, especially when we've ruled out everything else. We always are looking at this as well. It's really hard to be productive and have um, an ongoing day-to-day job when we are so fatigued. So we have to take testosterone into consideration as well um, with our mood. So mood stability. Um, The influence of testosterone and mood stability is also super important because it interacts with our neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dopamine. And these chemicals play a very critical role in regulating mood and emotional response and coping mechanisms. So low testosterone levels is associated with mood swings, irritability, depression, anxiety. And we have to stabilize these neurotransmitter levels as well during this time because we can help you reduce these emotional disturbances that are going on. Um, so again, understanding that it is, um, it's not just one, we have to look at all of these hormones together for these things. 
and our lifestyle, our dietary changes, nutrition, movement, exercise, and again, potentially some hormone replacement or even cycling these hormone replacements, super important. Let's look at some more symptoms of testosterone deficiency. We talked a lot about low libido, muscle weakness, fatigue, mood swings, weight gain. So actually weight gain can be caused from fluctuations in testosterone and DHEA levels, hair thinning, um, cognitive, hard to focus, hard to have, we're having some memory lapse issues. We can't concentrate. Bone health, there it is again. Testosterone deficiency actually can contribute to bone loss as well and putting you at risk. Let's look at our other friend, DHEA. This hormone is produced in the adrenal glands and it plays a crucial role in maintaining hormone balance. And oftentimes it's, it's too high and we see this a lot in our PCOS women and that too is not what we want. We do not want this level too high. So it's a precursor to sex hormones. It serves um, both testosterone and estrogen and it maintains, it helps the body convert into these hormones as needed. This conversion is particularly important for women as we move through perimenopause and menopause because it's in the natural production of estrogen and testosterone is declining. And so we see a lot of um, hormone balances occur too with DHEA. Um, we can give DHEA levels. This is one supplement that you'll often hear me say in my practice, I wish was actually prescription because people are just taking it, taking it too long, not taking it appropriately. There's so many dos dosages of it out there. But we can actually supplement DHEA and that in itself can sometimes help with um, your symptoms alone because DHEA helps with testosterone and estrogen levels as well. Um, but it also helps balance serotonin, dopamine levels. And so by giving you some of that, DHEA back can actually help just in itself with symptom relief. Bone health. DHEA does contribute to bone health by supporting estrogen levels. And we learned earlier about how important that is. Cognitive function. So we know that DHEA can support cognitive function potentially by influencing, again, those neurotransmitters and that affects memory and concentration. Metabolism and muscle mass. DHEA, there it is again. It aids in metabolism and muscle mass by supporting those testosterone levels and helps with our strength. DHEA is truly a very vital hormone. Um, it's a precursor to our essential sex hormones. It can help with mood, bone health, and cognitive functions. So again, like make sure you know and are working with someone who understands this important hormone as well. I've been ending um, the last two episodes with debunking some myths around hormone replacement. So we're going to go in that again, and I'm just going to reiterate. There has previous studies that were linked to hormone replacement causing an increased cancer um, risk. And we now know that there is studies showing well, it was showing that those studies were not very accurate, but there is more studies showing that not replacing hormones is putting you more at risk for other things such as heart disease and bone fractures and memory impairment and things like that too, and just the overall day-to-day -day benefit of hormone replacement. So working with someone to get that personalized treatment plan tailored for you, working on lifestyle, nutrition, movement, sleep, everything is so important to maintaining our hormone uh, homeostasis. And again, testosterone and DHEA are very important to your perimenopause and menopause health. It influences everything from libido to muscle to energy. And if we do not start taking this more serious and dispelling these myths, it's you, the patient, who's going to suffer. So we really want to make sure that you are understanding your options, that there is options out there, especially for hormone replacement, even of our testosterone and DHEA. Thank you so much for listening. See you back here next week.